Hello and welcome to Richard Bozo, which just Get Stronger to Suji, a book dedicated to getting stronger to Suji. Um, I, I want to do a little bit of an intro here before we jump into the problems, uh, just kind of what the series is going to be about, uh, the problems you're going to be covering, and the, the number of problems too. So this is the cover of the book. If you would like to purchase a copy of yourself, there's a link in the description below. Uh, through the videos, I will be doing 40% the total problems. I am also going to be dividing it up into um, the difficulty of problems, trying to do 40% of the available problems just to get you a good sampling of what the book is actually about. So moving on, uh, as I said, there are 534 problems in the book, uh, which means that there are 89 pages with six problems each. I plan to do these videos in sets of six problems in a similar format to the way the book is. They're not necessarily going to be in numerical order, but they are going to be the same difficulty per video. Uh, so 40% of those is 213 problems, and in f as far as sets goes, it's 35 sets, which means there's going to be 35 videos total. Um, they're broken down into four categories based on stars. Uh, one star is easy, two star is intermediate, three star is advanced, and four star is difficult. There are over 100 problems of the easy, over 300 problems of the intermediate. And uh, based on the, the rank, the ratings, rankings, um, double digit Q is considered beginner, single digit Q is uh, considered intermediate. I think advanced is considered down and difficult is like higher down. I, I think that's um, how it's leveled. And so since single digit Qs are most likely the ones reading these sorts of books uh, because they're putting forth the time to get stronger at these, that's why there's a, a grand 60 some percent centered around uh, the intermediate problems. So we'll be going over quite a few of those. Um, there's just under 100 of advanced problems and then the difficult ones, there's only 10 of them. Um, now I am going to do 40% of every one of them, which means there's 42, 126, and 36 of this. The only exception is the difficult ones. 60% um, would only be four, or sorry, 40% would only be four, and I want to do a six problem. So we'll be doing a slightly bigger portion of those. But uh, as I said, that means there's 35 total sets that I'm doing, which means there's going to be 35 videos. And so what we're going to be doing is focusing on Tsujis. And it's kind of strange to have to say that in a book about Tsujis, but uh, what I mean by Tsujis are the problems that specifically say kill these stones, save these stones, connect these stones, because there are also a grand, uh, a, a good portion of them that are really along the what, what's the best move in this situation, and they're most on a, they're based on a specific layout of the board. Um, I mean, not that the other ones aren't, but I uh, in in most of those are theoretical and more shape based and uh, not leaving behind Aji and that sort of thing. So I, I'm kind of not really skipping them, but I'm, I'm kind of avoiding them if I can. If I, if I don't have enough of the um, true Tsuji problems, I will go back and revisit some of them. Um, I myself have not gone through the book completely yet. I'm only about uh, 100 problems into it. Um, and so as we go, I will be doing the problems in, in the background and figuring out which ones are good for this sort of thing. So. I tried splitting up the problems so that they were as um, spread apart as I can so it's not all beginner at the beginning or not all advanced at the beginning. I tried spreading them out as evenly as I could and uh, it just so happened that they came up with this uh, sort of pattern where it's level 1, level 2, level 2, level 3, level 2 and that sort of repeating pattern kept them all separate with the exception of this one instead of the level 3 there it's a level 4. Um, but anyways, there is seven sets of five that repeat like this, and I'm going to be keeping that format as I go forward. Uh, since there's 35 sets, and I'm planning to do four per week, which is Tuesday, 30, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, that means a total of 8.75 weeks. So starting today, um, this is the, the week of July 6th, today is the Thursday, I'm going to be releasing a video about six beginner problems, and then on Saturday and Sunday there will be two intermediate problems. And then from there, there'll be problems every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday based on the, the color coding scheme here, uh, with the most difficult one being kind of the, it, and it, I didn't plan this, it just kind of sort of happened. This is actually the last day of the Congress. This whole week is Go Congress week. Um, and so I will be gone. They'll be pre-recorded and up, so don't worry about that. Um, but it's just kind of a cool way to celebrate the end of the Congress, I guess. Um, and this will take us all the way through to the last week and first week uh, last week of August, first week of September. 
Um, so after that, September 7th, we'll be starting uh, another book. And right now I'm thinking Get Strong and Attacking. Um, maybe opening uh, one of those two for sure. So I'll look forward to that over the next two months. So basically, uh, th just summing this up again, there's going to be four sets of six problems per week, 25, 20, which is 24 problems per week, which means it's almost uh, it's over three problems per day. So look forward to 35 videos on Tsuji problems um, with six problems per videos for a total of 210 of the book's 530 problems. And again, this is only covering four tenths of the book. There are six tenths other ones. And I'm not really choosing them because they're my favorite. I'm more choosing them because it's at the level and I, it, it fits what I'm looking for for these videos. So, oh, and also it's making me do the problems. Um, I, I know some say you should do like 10 problems a day, but I frankly don't have that kind of time. But doing this, it averages three problems per day, uh, per week, which is really nice. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, again, it's going to take me two months to go through, and I'll be going through it a couple times myself just to finish the full book, do videos on 40% uh, of it, and so it's, that's kind of like a review for me. So, so let's get right into it, starting with problem number 32. They're all black to play, so uh, the question for black is, how, how does black capture this stone in the corner here? Which way should he tar it? Black's move is to Atari this way, and then follow it if he needs to. White can't escape. If Black tries to Atari the other direction, these stones will get captured. Alrighty, so moving on to problem number 34. Similar to before, Black to play. Uh, Black's objective in this problem is to capture these five stones. Black's move is this one. White cannot Atari this to capture these stones, and white cannot escape, which means that these stones are now dead because of that. If black tries to descend and attack from this side, white can throw in and start a ko. And typically in these problems, we want to avoid ko wherever possible. Uh, sometimes ko is the right answer because it's the best answer, but in most cases, there's a way to outright kill it and not actually go to ko. Moving on to problem number 43, uh, black to play. Black wants to capture these stones. The question is, again, how does black capture those seven stones? Black's move is the, the simple throw in here. Uh, if white captures, black can descend here if he needs to, uh, though he probably doesn't. But uh, the point is that white can't Atari these stones because it would be self-Atari. Even if white connects first, it is still self-Atari. Um, so black probably doesn't actually have to descend here. Moving on to problem number 47, uh, the objective is again to capture these stones as black. So the question again is what throw in here does black play? Black's move is here, which now kills white's group. If white tries to resist and do this, black can go this. Now this sections in Atari. If white tries going the other way, black can Atari this stone. And again, white can't capture these because it'd be self-Atari. If black does the other move and tries this, this goes to Ko. And again, we want to avoid Ko wherever possible. Moving on to problem number 47, black wants to capture these four stones. So what is the move? Black's move is the throw in here, and if white captures, this black Atari captures these stones. If white resists and tries to connect, then this Atari kills the entire group. So white needs to actually not connect here and instead come back to capture these. Moving on to the last problem of this set is black to capture these four stones in the corner. This is problem number 49. Black's move is the throw in here. If white captures, black can Atari these three stones, and it just leads to a ladder that immediately dies. If black tries to threaten a snap back with a move like this, then black is short of liberties and black will die before uh, black gets a chance to throw in here. So that is it for the first set uh, that gets run at Tsuji. If you guys like the video, please do like it.
If you really like it, please share it. And if you're new around here, subscribe. I do videos like this every day. Um, in, in the case of this, I'm doing them uh, four times a week. But uh, thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.